Welcome to the neighborhood. Hi, my name is Ashley Brooke Nicholas, and I am so excited to be partnering with Advent Health today to share how you can set your kids up for success with a few easy tips. In today's video, I'm going to share how we transformed my messy toy covered home into a beautiful space where my kids can learn and play and my family can thrive at home. Thanks to the help of Hannah, a professional organizer with Home Refreshment here in Orlando. But before we start, I want to share why we chose this neighborhood and share a fun freebie for new movers to the Central Florida area. So I know from personal experience just how stressful moving into a new home can be. When my husband and I were house hunting three years ago, I was nearly nine months pregnant with our first daughter. We were both working full time and we were so incredibly stressed. We were trying to find the perfect home in the perfect neighborhood that would be in an area where our future family could be successful. Of course, we wanted to be close to things that would be kid friendly like parks, playgrounds, swimming pools things like that but honestly one of our top priorities was being close to high quality health care health care is extremely important in our family you know we know from personal experience that things can happen at any time and we wanted to be close to our favorite doctors and our favorite hospitals and thankfully as crazy as the moving process can be finding a great doctor in your area does not have to be hard Advent Health makes it so simple so if you're looking for a new doctor, visit yournewdoctor.com. And also, if you're new to the area, you can sign up for a new movers welcome box that's filled with all sorts of goodies and information for people moving to the Central Florida area. I am so excited to be having Hannah from Home Refreshment come to my home today. Like I said, she is a professional organizer in the Central Florida area and her work is incredible. I am really thrilled to have her look at my home and help me find a game plan where I can set my kids up for success and feel confident in our home environment. Hey, so I'm here with Hannah from Home Refreshment. She is a professional organizer here in Central Florida and she is honestly a godsend. My house is a cluttered mess and I need all the help that I can get. So I am so excited that you're here today. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys along on the entire consultation process from the beginning to the end and then show you all the before and afters. My main goal is to set my kids up for success at home, but it's hard for my husband and I to schedule learning or playtime with our children when we're busy cleaning up the toys that are all over our home. I work from home and have a beautiful office, but with two toddlers, I spend most of my time on my laptop. Hannah gave me a great idea and helped me reimagine my unused office as a great learning and play space for our children. I love the space, but if it's not working for you guys right now, I kind of think that we should, you know, move some things around and make it more of a kid zone since the toys are an issue elsewhere. So, in my opinion, I would say let's move this desk so that you guys can still have it in here, but we're going to make more space this way for the kids, you know, toys. So, move the desk move the chairs, and then here I'm thinking like a toy storage setup, and then you told me that your daughters love to do art, so I'm thinking like an art area here as well. Like I was telling you, this is the only storage space we have downstairs. It is a tiny coat closet, and it's just not very functional <laughs> for storing anything, but I thought maybe there's a way to make it functional to store toys, but I'd love to get your opinion. I like the idea of having this closet as the toy storage, especially since that's a problem that you guys are having elsewhere. I just don't think that it's working properly right now as it is, but before we think about the system that we're going to put into place, we need to think about all of the items that you have, toys that you have that they don't use anymore. Um, items like puzzles with missing pieces or toys that they've outgrown. We want to get rid of all of that stuff first before we consider putting the system into place. Okay, Hannah, so now that you've seen my space, you've seen all of my clutter, all the things I had in the closet, what is the game plan? I mean, obviously the goal is we want to set up a place where my kids can be successful at home. You know, during these changing times, I want to create a place where my family can thrive. Um, so before I see you again in a week, what is my homework? What should I be doing to get everything set up so we can get this place organized? So after hearing you and seeing your spaces, I definitely want to be able to set your kids up for success. I know you guys are home a lot. We definitely want to make the most of this space. So for me, I will see you again in a week. But until then, I definitely want you to declutter. That's always the first step that you can do. Anyone at home can do that too. Pull everything out and just take assessment of what you have. 
anything that's broken, anything that has missing parts or pieces, any toys that they don't play with, those things can go away. Once everything has been decluttered and you have only the things that you're keeping, that's whenever we think about putting this system into place. I'm going to email you a list, and I do that with all of my clients. I email a list of all of the things that you need. Um, we kind of already talked about adding some shelving and getting a little storage system here, as well as a little spot for school supplies so that you can help your daughter with kindergarten. So I'm going to send you all of those things. You're going to be able to do install and declutter. And then whenever I come back, we will wrap things up, make it look nice and pretty and super organized. So our first step in the project was to remove all of the things that wouldn't be going into our new room. So we took out the desk, took out the old furniture and cleared the room out. So our second step was to actually put the new setup into place. We moved the chairs to their new position. We moved in the table and chairs for Summer to learn at. We moved in an art easel where actually Summer and Luna can both play at the chalkboard. They can write their letters or they can draw a picture or paint a picture. They both love painting. And most importantly, we moved in the new major toy storage area. We moved in the cube bookshelf. And then Hannah helped us add in all of the bins and pre-sort everything and pre-label everything so that everything would be easy to find and most importantly, easy to put back when it needed to be cleaned. Since we sorted everything, I want to show you how I ended up organizing it in the bins. So we have two of the dress ups, we have one full of baby toys, and then we have one of play food. So it's very clearly spread out and organized in a way that you guys can keep them but we always have to make sure that we label everything. So that's the very last step. One of the genius ideas that Hannah gave us is to label everything. It helps you find everything's home at the end of the day, but most importantly, these picture labels are great for kids too. Summer is only three and while she can't read, she can identify pictures, which helps her be able to take responsibility for her things and help us clean up too. But we have all of our books together and the way that we want to display our books is by spine color and the reason that we want to do this is because number one it looks nice but more importantly you can hold your kids accountable to clean up time as well as teaching them colors so if they pick up a book and it has a red spine then we're going to put it back with the red books they can do that it's a great way to teach and learn as they are playing remember our messy toy closet Thanks to Hannah's suggestions, it's no longer messy. We added shelving to maximize storage, sorted everything into bins, added labels, and turned this into a toy rotation closet. Kids get bored when they play with the same toys every day. So we rotate which toys are stored in the closet and which are in their playroom downstairs so that old toys become new again. And the last step in our project was to put all of the final touches into place. We wanted to make this playroom a beautiful and functional space. So we added art to the walls and a few pretty statement toys on top of the bookshelf. I am so excited with how this room turned out. It is better than I could have ever imagined. And I'm so thrilled that my kids are finally set up for a year of success at home. They have a great place to play and most importantly, a great place to learn. The small learning space that we set up for Summer has been working perfectly. She loves sitting at her desk and chair and doing her art projects as well as her at-home preschool activities. It is the perfect little space for her to learn and play. And the rolling cart that Hannah suggested has been a lifesaver. Not only does it allow us to keep all of their art and educational supplies in one organized space, but we can easily roll it in when they need to use it and roll it out when it's not being used. I am just so thrilled with how this project turned out. I really feel like it's helped me set my kids up for success throughout the rest of the year. I know that Summer is going to be able to learn. I know that Luna is going to have a safe place to play. And I know that my husband and I now have areas that are actually functional for working and functional for our daily life as parents too. As I mentioned earlier, if you're setting up your home too, if you're moving to a new house in Central Florida, head to yournewdoctor.com. Not only can you find high quality healthcare in your area of Central Florida, but you can also sign up for a new mover box. It's filled with all sorts of fun things and information for people new to the area, and it's free to sign up. So my family has used the Advent Healthcare Network for years, and we have always had an incredible experience with the physicians in our area. They make us feel so well taken care of, and honestly, as a mother, it makes me feel so safe and secure to know that my family is so close by to world-class hospitals and highly qualified physicians 
all throughout the Central Florida area. So when you head to yournewdoctor.com, you will see that Advent Health's online physician finder makes the process so simple to find exactly the type of high quality medical care that your family needs. Maybe you need extended appointment times, same day appointments, perhaps you're looking for doctors that specialize in children or the geriatric community, and you can find all of those options and more and choose from hundreds of highly qualified physicians throughout Central Florida.